All right, first things first, before we get started, I know a lot of you guys that watched the last video are anxious to find out the three winners of the $30 in store credit from Black Forge Games. From the first randomly selected comment from, I loves me some ASMR. That $30 in store credit goes to Jason Crawl. Jason Crawl. And the second winner of the Black Forge $30 in store credit goes to, from the comment, my dogs are barking, Mike's Minis. That's right, Mike's Minis. And at the end of that video, I divulged a super secret email address to email me with the subject line, I watch till the end. And that random winner is Brigham Cheney. I'll do my best Vanna White. All these winners of the $30 in store credit to Black Forge Games need to email me at 3dprintfarmcontest at gmail.com. Links in the description below. <laughs> This is J.O. Standard Gray Resin. It comes in this fantastic retail-esque, notice I just made that word up, box. And it is super well packaged. In fact, I love the packaging. First of all, right out of the box, six filters. That's right, six. Second of all, it's these cool bubble wrapped containers. Inside is an already opened, and this dude is bubble wrap. This dude is nice and thick. I believe it is a uh, probably a eight mil thick plastic. It has been heat sealed and if any resin gets out, it's not gonna go anywhere inside this bag, so I give a big thumbs up for the retail packaging, the bubble wrap, the plastic bag, and the addition of the six filters that you don't have to go to your local hardware store and buy when you, you, know, when you strain the resin back into the bottle and everything. That's nice. After thoroughly shaking the bottle, the J.O. resin has some super low viscosity. It almost pours like water. First things first, before starting any print with a new resin, go grab yourself your favorite resin exposure testing model. I happen to be using the Starship from 3DRS, and my nominal normal exposure for the J.O. standard resin was 2.5 seconds on my Saturn II. So to test today's resin, we will be printing some awesome miniatures from Mammoth Factory. This is their website. They have lots of cool stuff out here. They have a Patreon, very reasonable, very reasonably priced. Uh, they have a subscription model. They've got 3D printable miniatures that takes you over to their My Mini Factory. In fact, if you uh, subscribe to their Patreon, you get 50% off on their My Mini Factory. They have fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons PDFs that you can incorporate into your miniature gaming. They sell physical miniatures for those that do not have a resin printer or 3D printer. In fact, they are going to be launching, and this may be live because this starts September, or actually August the 9th, which is tomorrow, their Kickstarter. And this is the Mammoth Chronicles Book One. Uh, you get eight quality fifth edition adventures. Uh, you get a 250 page hardcover book stat blocks, magic items, battle maps, paper minis, and then 131 premium miniatures. So this is, uh, this their Kickstarter will start tomorrow. Uh, they've got everything nicely laid out on their website here, and I am very excited to be printing some of their awesome models. Now here's some of the models that are going to be on this next plate is the Vermin Horde Collection from Mammoth Factory Games. This is the Sewer Skitters pack. 
and you'll see that there's six different sewer skitters try to say that five times fast and now we've got some also some rot priests and a berserk pack and I've got some of those mixed up in here as well as you can see uh, all of these models I did not support these models they came pre-supported in fact when you purchase their models they all come pre-supported either unsupported or if you want to support your own have at it you can get unsupported models the supported files are in lychee slicer and chi2 box all right let's scale things up a bit i printed the mutant pack and these are you get three mutants 32 millimeter scale 50 millimeter bases and check this out now I used the rub and buff technique on this and basically I spray painted the uh, flat black primer on these and went back over it with rub and buff now if you would like me to do a tutorial on rub and buff I know there's a couple great tutorials out there but I can show you my technique please drop them in the comments below and I would be glad to put something like that together for you but check out these amazing details by Mammoth Factory so here's a quick tip on how I remove prints from my resin printer build plates what I like to do is I like to have a metal spatula and I like to keep it sharp. Uh, I like to keep that bevel uh, sharp with either a whetstone or a file. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to keep that, that bevel edge up. And you'll hold this at an angle. And as you can see, I'm, uh, as I'm holding this as an angle, I am slowly kind of working my way under the bottom part of the resin print and it should because you that that the blade is so thin on that you should be able to get up under that and now you want to keep your hands out of the way and because if you slip and you go forward that you know that uh, sharp edges and skin they don't uh, they don't play nice so yeah be very very careful with this but this is how I remove um, my prints from the bill plate now you're probably asking yourself, hey Garrett, what's that, uh, what's that miniature you just uh, removed from your build plate? Well, this is Amaroth the Unstoppable. Yes, notice how easy the supports are removed. It's ASMR. This Rocky Mammoth has some amazing detail. And this model can be yours. Just stay tuned toward the end of today's show for more details. Check this bad boy out. This is Bahumet. This huge dragon is one of the loyalty rewards you get from Mammoth Factory Games Patreon. Look how cool this looks. Look at all of the exquisite details of this model. And this is part and parcel to the the, the, the viscosity of this resin, uh, of the ability to pick up all of these details. This was a two and a half second normal exposure on my Saturn II. This took well over 24 hours. I used three full bill plates. It came in parts, put it all together, and it is fantastic. I couldn't be happier. The only thing is it's a little bit light. The, the color of the resin is a little bit light for my taste, but with a coat of primer, check this out. This is flat black primer with, you guessed it, rub and buff. Okay, here's how to get your Amaroth the Unstoppable. Head on out to mammothfactory.com and go up in the top navigation bar and click on Free Mini. You'll be taken to the Amaroth the Unstoppable page 
And if you just subscribe to their newsletter, they will send you a Amaroth the Unstoppable in unsupported, supported in lychee, supported in Chitu box, along with its fifth edition CR20 stat block and lore card. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the J.O. Standard Resin in the 2,000 gram gray. 2,000 gram gray? Overall, I'm quite pleased with the J.O. Standard Resin in the 2,000 gram jug. I did find one downside to the J.O. Standard Gray Resin. It is on the brittle side. And what I mean is if you print your minis and you're an aggressive player and you happen to get, you know, all worked up and you take your minis and you sling them across the room that sword or mace may not make it so yeah it is a tad bit brittle so keep that in mind so if you would like to try some of this J.O. resin and I have placed links in the description below where you can save 10% off of a bottle of J.O. standard gray resin which is only slightly toxic Hey, once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I did. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. We have some laser videos coming up in the next week or so. And don't forget to try the J.O. Standard Resin Mostly Toxic. Mostly Toxic? And <laughs> don't, don't, don't forget to try. If you have an inkling to try some slightly toxic resin, that's right. It's only slightly toxic. Go out and try some of this J.O. resin. You know, all kidding aside, all resin is toxic. But J.O.'s is only slightly toxic. Yeah. Don't drink it. No drinking. Hey, we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. Well, oh. it's low odor, cleans up well, and here it is low odor it is low odor cleans up it's low odor cleans up well and cures rock hard in the uv it is low so overall i am overall i'm super impressed with the jo <laughs> See what I have to deal with on the farm? Do you see? Do you listen? Listen! All right. Have you guys settled down now? Hot Rod. Dogs. <laughs>